Black studies, you know, intelligentsia crowd that in that that intimidates that in that intimidates black people who are conservative, saying, "Hey, man, you have no idea but, what it's like." Let me, let me that, say look, that's why I became first conservative. First black no, people are intimidated from being conservative yeah, because the Democratic Party has provided you such largesse and just, wonderment let me, let me for the Democratic listen, Party. Although I, defend, you don't, you don't I know. defend the black studies professors, my PhD is in religion yeah. from Princeton. That's number one. Number two, I teach sociology, so I'm not in black studies right now. Though it's a great, it's a great reality. Here's my point. That, that, that kind of, let me tell you what you just did. You used a code language, the black studies people, right? In other words, then I'm racist. Look, no, I'm I, I, racist. Then I am racist. No, then I'm a racist. Let me finish my uh, point. I'm able to speak articulately. What I'm saying to you is that, <laughs> what I'm saying to you is that you tried to marginalize African American studies professors as somehow innately incapable of critical reasoning that attends to every other discipline in the American Academy. Number two, what you're suggesting is that because, because we would be critical of Clarence Thomas, you suggest that white supremacy as a notion can't inhabit black skin. Many people have said, suggested that you could be a black person articulating some very powerful notions against black people. You could be a ventriloquist as a black skinned person saying ideas that are co corruptive of a, a tradition of black response. Number three, let me say this in closing. Look, man, those of us who are victims of white supremacy, social injustice, economic inequality, and racism... President no, Obama, baby. Hold, let me tell you what. One black man in public housing in D.C. does not solve the problems of... Africa. ...is the worst thing you can call a person in this country. There are well, tons of black people did, in this country or Republicans who support this man. They're not tons. Okay, yeah, the next show, you know what? please have on a black but, conservative... But, but, but what, you're saying, what, that you're, what you're saying is that if I actually think that he has racist tendencies... Right. That's what all, is it? Give that's me the evidence. The, that, he sang Barack the Magic Negro. That was a, that, that, that was a bone through a nose. That was a liberal columnist from Los Angeles Times right. by the name of David bone Aronson. Bone through the nose. Bone through the nose. But here's my point. This is this is what is wearying about the whole process. Let's play ball fairly. We know that there are cold words. You can't use 60 styles racism. I don't Let me know that there are right. cold 60 words. 60 styles racism for 2,000 styles. I don't know that there are cold right. words. Let's That's move on. Let's move on because I do have a theme for this show. Okay. And that theme. Unity. And that theme is. <laughs> no more.